Colorado is on the route to become one of the first states ever to actually ban the sale of cell phones for anyone under the age of 13. Uh, this comes from um, one father who witnessed what is called a quote, dramatic, very violent outburst from one of his sons when he took away his smartphone. Um, and from then he formed the group called Parents Against Underage Smartphones. And this may actually cause Colorado to be one of, like I said, one of the first states to just outright ban the sale of smartphones for people under 13. Which, in my opinion, is ridiculous because we look at smartphones as being this evil thing, but they aren't. They are a way for you to actually communicate better, get information better, be able to protect yourself in emergency situations. Yes, there are bad things that could come with smartphones, but there's also good. Um, writing in an article about this, Nicholas Bowman, a media psychologist, was um, talking about what he's calling a moral panic based on technology. and. I think I agree with him very much though. Um, this goes back to just banning things, uh, any kind of things that could be new technologies, for instance, or uh, not really properly understood by, let's say, parents, let's say, authorities, and just saying, oh, this is the thing. If we get rid of this thing, all of the morality in the world is going to come back and everything's going to be better. But really, it's misunderstanding technology and it's demonizing it in a way that is probably counterproductive for you and counter educational for you as well. Giving examples in his article, Bowman writes, in the 1790s, the printing of adventure novels raised concerns that children were compulsively reading at the expense of their chores. In the 1920s, people feared that crossword puzzles would contribute to illiteracy. In the 1970s, the video game Death Race was labeled by critics as a murder simulator going on to spark outrage and debate about whether these new things are corrupting our children. He also cites uh, Socrates concerns writing in Phaedrus uh, that the written word divorced information from its original spoken source and said that writing things down would irreversibly weaken people's memories. This is stupid. You know this by listening to it, that writing things down doesn't diminish what, knowledge, memories, words, It's that's a silly thing to think. And then, I mean, with every subsequent example, what we're doing is kind of a forced ignorance or choosing to be ignorant rather, uh, choosing to be ignorant rather and forcing our kids to also be ignorant based on this. It's also tends to be based on sensationalized anecdotes rather than real research and data. And um, this seems to be as well, if we're going back to one dad saying his kid really freaked out and so we need to ban the sale of cell phones to people under 13 in the entire state. I think if you want your kids to use phones responsibly, you might actually have to parent your kids. So you could, if you wanted to, limit phone time, limit certain things that they could use on their phone, like games or the browsers or social medias or whatever in there. It's moral panics are really dumb and short-sighted and not looking at the real problem, which you could probably figure out and fix as a parent. It's kind of stupid to do this. Audience, what do you think of banning the sale of cell phones to people under 13? Should it be stopped? Should it be used? Should we try it out and see how it goes? Please let me know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.